What is going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and I want to talk more today about Fire Emblem If and we have some news about new merchandise which is going to be made available um, to promote this game and whatnot but it's not going to be in a way where you'll be happy. Now some of you may have seen this before but it was recently revealed that there will be face plates for the new 3DS regular in Japan to be getting Fire Emblem If plates and with the whole theme of the whole thing it looks so badass. I um, want to give a shout out to the bot that tweets me these articles automatically auto tweet at Etika. Um, this place is constantly giving out tweets from new Nintendo articles. I don't know how the hell the guy programmed this thing, but it works out pretty damn well. Um, yeah, this will be linked in the description, but as you guys can see from this little picture preview here, the concept is pretty goddamn sick in regards to these face plates. Um, but let's check out the link right now. Let's look at more details and see what's going on here. So Nintendo celebrates Japanese launch of Fire Emblem If with themed cover plate and bundle. Did the game come out already? I know Xenoblade Chronicles X came out already, and I, oh my god, man. I mean, some people say that the gameplay looks dull, the battles look stiff and whatnot, but I feel like that's just part of the aesthetic, and I feel like, I don't think it makes a difference. Everyone that's played that game so far has said it's awesome. Although I have to ask Duncan Knee Deep what he thought about the game, too. I mean, Duncan, he played through it on his Twitch page, and I, I want to get his opinion. He was cutting ass on it, but I mean, either way, let's go. Um, Let's see what this article has to say about this. So another week and another cover plate. And this is why I want to live in Japan. Because look at the sexy ass cover plate. Look at that shit. It looks so fucking hot. Oh my god. Okay, another week, another cover plate. Since the launch of the new Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo has allowed users to accessorize their system with a wide selection of cover plate offerings. As you all know, this trend will not be stopping anytime soon. With the latest cover plate revealing, celebrate the latest cover plate reveal celebrating the upcoming Japanese launch of Fire Emblem If. So the game isn't released yet, but it will be very soon. The special Fire Emblem If cover plate will be released alongside the 3DS game on the 25th of June and will set users back 2,500 yen, which I guess is around $25. A bundle including a, a black new 3DS with a 16GB SD card and Fire Emblem If themed cover plate number 61 will also be available for 18,500 yen, so $185 and whatnot, I think, I think, around there, $200. Let us know in the comments if you would like to see the cover plate and bundle released alongside the game here in the West. Yeah, if we did get the goddamn new 3DS regular in the first place, this thing is sex incarnate. Absolute sex incarnate. Like, look at this goddamn thing, man. We're gonna zoom in a little bit here. So as you can see, the factions, it looks like if you choose a male, then you may be starting off on the Hoshido side. And you may be starting off on the, um, what is it, the, the dark side, the Hanor, or the, I don't know the exact name, I, it doesn't come to mind, I apologize. But I mean, either way, this thing looks amazing. You got my barefoot waifu over here on the right. It looks cool on all sides, and it seems like, it would've been really cool if you could've switched up which one, which side you wanted to represent on which side of your DS, but I mean, it still looks badass either way. The Hoshido looked damn good on the front of it, and the, um, what is their name? The Hoshido and the Hoshido and Nor, there we go, Nor. I knew it was something along those lines, but this is just another big cock tease as to why we don't have the goddamn new 3DS. I really wish this thing would come out in America. And some of you might say, well, what's the point if the new 3DS regular is basically a watered down version of the new 3DS XL? This is the reasoning right here. I mean, I feel like even though the new 3DS XL does process things a little bit faster, and you, some of you may disagree with this, I did a video covering this a long time ago, the new 3DS XL does have slightly faster speeds when loading up Smash Brothers than the new 3DS regular. But Still, the faceplates to me are the main draw for this console, and the fact that you can change the faceplates on it, to be honest with you, it would have made me want to get the new 3DS over the new 3DS XL. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think of this faceplate? Would this be enough for you to want to get the new 3DS over the XL? For me, it would be. Even though the screen size is smaller, I still feel like this is one of the sexiest things I've laid eyes on myself, but I want to hear your opinions. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, Please have yourself a damn good one.